Thank you, Mr. Chairman and the ranking member for the invitation to testify. Uh, good morning, honorable members of the subcommittee. My name is Jerry Bowles. I'm the president of the Brotherhood Railroad Signalman. Our members are primarily responsible for the maintenance and installation of signal systems across the nation. It is imperative to understand that the issues reflected in my testimony affect not only our members, but also the general public. One of the most important topics affecting these groups is positive train control. PTC is a much needed and overdue reality. As we move forward, it's critical that those who install, monitor, and maintain PTC are properly trained on how the system works and how to troubleshoot issues. Recently, our organization conducted a survey wherein a portion of our membership was asked about their involvement with PTC. Of the members who responded, only 21% believed training to be sufficient. We believe this process can be improved if our members are allowed to be significantly involved with the development of PTC training. Training and education of our members is paramount to the safety of the public. This cannot be allowed to take a back seat to any cost benefit analysis. We have fought to improve safety for our members and the public through multiple measures and efforts. We work with other rail labor organizations, the FRA, the NTSB, and the railroads to ensure that our craft remains a driving force on safety issues. Our membership fears all of these things and more are at risk with the implementation of precision scheduled railroading, or PSR, as it has become known throughout the industry. We have heard from our members that maintenance positions are being abolished and reestablished with larger territories. These new territories lead to increased testing requirements on each individual, which gives them less time for regular preventive maintenance and heightens the potential for equipment failures and signaling issues. These incidents often occur after hours, increasing their already extensive duties, and while they must still conform to the current federal hours of safety laws. Even more troubling, my office has heard numerous reports that many of these incidents are being deferred by the railroads until normal working hours in an effort to avoid overtime costs. While this may save money, we believe it compounds safety issues. Not only do these employees have to cover their regular required duties, they must now diagnose and repair the incidents that were deferred from the night or the weekend before, all in an effort to cut costs. It's easy to see how this formula could eventually result in a catastrophe. This is a practice we cannot condone. For us, many, many battles were fought to achieve routine periodic testing, not only on signal systems, but highway, also on highway rail grade crossings. Now these required tests are under attack again as talks of re deregulation escalate throughout the industry. Many people have given their lives prior to the implementation of these regulations. We do not want to return to a time that puts the public and our members in more danger. We don't have to look very far to see where self-regulation exists. Uh, look only at the airline industry. The outcome is evident. If left to self-regulate, the PSR operating model will do what is cheapest, and not what is safest, safest or in the best interest of the public or our members. It will lead to risk calculation that decides which solutions are financially justified. It will lead to elimination of manpower and the understaffing of projects as long as it keeps costs down and dividends up. These actions could easily end in tragedy. It's our position that this was the case in Casey, South Carolina, when technological or supervisory safeguards were not put in place during a signal cutover. Further, we believe when PSR dictates policy, overtime and personnel costs take precedence over sound safety decisions and practices which often lead to dangerous shortcuts. As we move forward, we cannot allow terms like precision scheduled railroading to distract us from the numerous safety issues confronting the industry. Stock prices and dividends should never undermine the safety of our nation's railroads. We cannot allow infrastructure to crumble while profits soar and workforce reductions continue to overburden those who are responsible for the safety of the public. This is the state of the rail workforce from our perspective. I thank you for the opportunity to testify on behalf of our membership today 
and truly appreciate the opportunity to provide our perspectives to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bowles. Uh, Chair, I recognize Mr. Sandberg.